Hello everyone, welcome back! Today we're gonna talk about heating, specifically about what to do, what alternatives do we have when our kids heat us or when they heat other people. I don't know what else to do, I have tried absolutely everything and nothing seems to work. What should I do if my kid heats? I want to start by saying spanking is never the best option, especially in this case. Why? Children repeat absolutely everything that they see. That means if you hit them, they are gonna hit. It is totally wrong to think that if you hit them, they're gonna stop hitting. Yes, maybe they stop right away, but guess what? Tomorrow or in a few hours, they're gonna do it again. That being said, let's put ourselves in the kid's perspective. When we are talking about toddlers, hitting is just a way that they can communicate with you. And this is because they haven't developed either language skills or social skills. So the way that they communicate their feelings is by hitting. And let me tell you something, for toddlers it's developmentally normal to hit. That means that your kid is not aggressive, that means that he's not trying to control you. That simply means that they're probably trying to say, tell you something or that they are having a lot of emotions and the way that they want to express them is by hitting. That doesn't mean that you should let them hit everybody just because they're excited, no. But knowing where that behavior is coming from will help you to know what to do next. But just a reminder, your kid is going to grow out of it. If they don't see daddy hitting mom or mom hitting the dog or siblings hitting the dogs, trust me, they're going to grow out of it. Now let's talk about solution, which is probably the reason why you click on this video. First, we accept all the feelings, but we don't accept all the actions. That means it's okay to be mad, it's okay to be frustrated, but it is not okay to hit. You can say something like, I am sorry you're feeling hurt, but I am not gonna let you hit me. You're probably feeling very upset that your sister broke your toy but I can't let you hit her. Second, you can give them options. You can redirect that behavior. If they're feeling so excited that they're start hitting you, you can say something like, I can't let you hit me, but you can hit this pillow or you can hug very, very hard this pillow. Or you can hit the drums if the sound doesn't bother you. But you can always redirect that behavior. And this works amazing, especially with toddlers. Because when they have something else to do, they usually forget very, very quickly what they were doing before. Number three, hugs. If your kid is hitting you, instead of yelling or hitting them back, give them a hug. Being kind with our kids when they have done something unkind does not reinforce the misbehavior. But this is a very good way to model a different behavior. So let's say your kid wants your attention and he comes and starts hitting, hitting, hitting you. You can stop their little hands and say, you have my attention if you give me a hug. And give them a hug. This is actually my go-to with my daughter. She didn't hit me, but she bite me. And so what I started doing was every time she bite me, I remove her and I didn't pay attention to her at all, but then I look at her in the eyes and I hug her. So now whenever she wants my attention, she runs to me and hugs me. And she, of course, knows that that works very good for us. So this is a very, very good idea. I hope you guys tried this one too. Next, put everything into words. Don't worry about the perfect wording, especially if your kids are under six, because kids really don't know what you mean when you say don't hit me. They can really understand the words that you're saying. But saying that out loud not only stops my kid from that behavior, but also helps me to calm down and give her a response to that action. Let's find something else to do instead of reacting. Stop hitting the dog! So words are very important, but it's also very important to know the purpose of those words. The purpose is not to make our kids to understand that hitting is bad because they probably can't understand that yet, but that will put ourselves in a better mood and that also train us to talk in a positive way to our kids from the beginning. Another really good thing to do is tell our kids what to do instead of telling them what not to do. Let's do an exercise. If I tell you, do not think about 
a purple giraffe. What do you just do? You probably think about a purple giraffe, right? That's the same thing that happens with our kids when we say to them, don't hit. If we say don't hit, they completely ignore the part where we say don't and they catch the part when we say hit. So instead of telling them don't hit, stop hitting, let's show them another thing that they can do. Touch nicely, we're gentle with our hands, we pet our dogs, we hug mommy and things like that. Another thing you can do is decide what you're gonna do. Something that has changed my parenting style completely is realizing that I cannot control my child's behavior, but I can control mine. My point here is that you can tell your kid what you're gonna do instead of trying to stop him from hitting. So instead of saying, don't hit the dog, you can tell your child, every time you hit the dog, I'm gonna put the dog in my room or I'm gonna put the dog outside. So if you wanna play with the dog, you have to be gentle. This works very well, but there's two things that you have to keep in mind. First, you have to let your kid know what you're gonna do. Communication is the key. It doesn't work if your kid is hitting the dog and you take the dog outside immediately without telling them anything. And second, you have to follow through. If you say, I'm gonna do X, you have to do X. And another very important thing to do, even if your kid doesn't talk yet, is to apologize. If your child hits somebody out of frustration, you can try one of the steps that we already discussed and once they feel better, you can ask for an apology. Don't demand an apology. You better apologize to me for hitting me, but model the apology. If I hurt your feelings, let me know what can I do to apologize. Or you can say something like, I am really so sorry I made you feel that way. It really hurts me when you hit me. An apology will make me feel better. Or if your child hits somebody else, if they don't feel in the mood to apologize, you can wait until they wanna do it, or if you have to leave, you can apologize for them. Make sure that they are listening so you can model how to do it in future scenarios. It doesn't have to be this huge thing. Just by simply saying, I'm really sorry about what happened, it's okay. But this is a very good exercise to tell your kids that it's okay to make mistakes. Sometimes we do things that we regret, but we always can make amends. I would love to know in the comments if you have tried any of these points. Please share this video with other parents if it was useful and subscribe to this channel if you want to keep watching videos about positive discipline. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao!